It has been a busy, busy transfer window, let me tell you. I was not really expecting it, and we had a lot thrown at us. And we've said goodbye to a couple of players that I don't think you or I were expecting to be bidding farewell to anytime soon. Hey guys, RC here. Welcome back. Episode 45 of our FM21 Climbing the Ladder Save with DeGroff Shop. We are in the Arita VC. We've been here for a little while. Uh, our Dutch Cup was cut short uh, by PSV last episode. Since then, we have beaten Breda 3-2. Goals from Nert Neck Meyer, Calvin Grutunk, and Aaron. Beretta, uh, Sparta, a 4 0 win. We, they got an own goal that they gifted to us, and then Kernjik with a hat trick. A friendly win over Will, 6 0. And Fortuna Sitard, we just crushed 5 1. Goals from Kalichi Okashi, Vicario with a hat trick, and Kernjik with another goal himself. I believe that means we swept them this year. Five to one in both matches, so ten to two outscoring them. So that's good. We're gonna have highlights from the AZ match today, and then we'll play Utrecht. So let's get the highlights, then we'll go through transfers, and then we'll do the match. So let me get the match played. We'll come back with highlights in just a second. Oh, by the way, I forgot to mention it earlier. Smash that like button if you like what I'm doing here. That's your way of supporting the channel and helping get more eyes on the videos. And subscribe and hit the notification bell for daily Football Manager content uploaded on the channel Monday through Saturday. Thanks so much. Let's go see some highlights. So you may notice a new name there, DeVos lining up at the attacking right winger. First minute of the match, they get a cross in. Gerver gets beaten by Van Loon. He slots it home. Delqua misses it. And we are in an early 1-0 hole. Gerver equalized in the 20th minute with a penalty. And then headed away, but right back to their team. And a big cross in. And Van Loon gets his second. Well, I guess Jamal got that one. Looked like Van Loon. Corner comes in and the own goal, that was horrible. Put us in a 3-1 disadvantage. Cervenka off the bench, plays it out to Aaron, and he beats Case, our former keeper, who I wish was still here at the near post. But 3-2, the own goal spoils it for us. Uh, we actually outshot them, had equal possession, so we didn't play badly. But that is what it is. Let me get up to match day, which will get us past the transfer window. And then we'll take a look at transfers before today's match. All right. Well, we've reached the end of the transfer window. You can see two Wonder Kids have moved on. Uh, PSV and Ghent picking them up for $22.5 and $44 million respectively. Strangely enough, that's about the price range that most clubs want us to pay for anybody that we were interested in, and they only want to pay about $80,000 for any of our players. We have sold some for more than that. FC20, the most active side here in the second half of the season, and in the transfer window, we have uh, made almost $5.2 million in profit this month thanks to the income from players sold of just short of $15 million. And that puts us up to $34 million, gives us a nice little kick with the profit. Let's take a look at the transfers. So down the stretch in January, we sold Jules Jegu to Venlo for $2.9 million. Uh, of course, 25-year-old Belgian. Uh, we acquired him on a free from Anderlecht a few years ago. He's been a constant for us, but uh, really has transitioned into more of a reserve player this year. He wasn't happy about it. We saw an opportunity to cash in on him. 
weren't really looking to move him, but we make a nice profit on him. And I really had to put myself in the mindset that we need to be a selling team. So, you know, there, there needs to be pretty much nobody off limits as long as it doesn't adversely affect our ability to be competitive. Uh, David Weiss goes out on loan. Uh, Elliot Laval goes out to NEC for $800,000. Uh, Laval was a midfielder from Belgium. We had acquired him for $575,000 last season. Uh, he was a big part in our midfield last year, but just wasn't quite up to snuff, I don't think, and really lost his place this year with some other players coming in. So we cash out, make a profit on him. Tangui Vogel, we've been trying to sell him for quite a while. Uh, 27 years old. Now we paid 2.4 million for him. Just you look at his average ratings, he just never did perform. Uh, so we take a loss, bit pretty big loss, but we move him on for 825,000 and just free up some room and some salary cap in the roster. Gerard Olivier goes to Lazio for 1.2. He had a 2.2 million dollar contract uh, release clause, but nobody was coming near that and uh we paid 275 for him he, he was a pretty consistent player off the bench for us but hadn't really been performing up to snuff uh you know not at a high level so we move him on make a nice little profit almost a million dollars the one that got me was nateb uh he was our he was our club vice captain he was also our only team leader he goes to Breda for $4.2 million. He's been a reserve player. We paid $245,000 for him when we were down in the second division. But he's been a consistent until this year. Uh, 27 starts last year, but only two reserve appearances this year. He was still in the mix, but he had fallen, you know, he had fallen down to a reserve player. He wasn't happy with that. Being that he was not, you know, unhappy, some of the players were starting to side with him. And he was the only team leader. I felt we needed to get rid of him. So we make a nice profit on him. Uh Mihovil Banachek goes off to Danes for one and a half million. 26-year-old Croatian. We paid 235. We got quite a lot of mileage out of him and then sell him on for a profit. Similar situation, just wasn't playing a lot. David Sebastian, we recalled him from loan because he wasn't getting the playing time. He wasn't a bad looking player, but you can see he's only average and he's seventh on our depth chart. At 21, I figure he's never really gonna make, crack our starting 11. So we went ahead and took the opportunity to move him. Uh, we signed him for eight thousand, move him for nine hundred thousand, and uh, yeah. So I think that's some good business. Part of that selling mentality I tried to put myself into. Uh, Eric Hasnut uh, goes to go ahead for seven hundred and seventy-five thousand. Seventeen-year-old, but again, you can see three and a half star potential. Only graded a thirty-seven by our scouts. Uh, he came up through our youth system and just felt this was an opportunity to cash in on him and make a little bit of money. Angel Vigneron. We just signed him this year for $2.7 million from Anderlecht. But he only had one start, six reserve appearances. I liked him, but he really got angry and wanted to leave, was causing some commotion. So uh, ended up taking the deal. We uh, we negotiated a few times, got it up to 2.9, where we at least recoup our money and make a little bit of uh, gravitas. So uh, bought him for 2.7, sell him for 2.9 six months later. And Geert Thielmans, we've made some moves. As much as I liked him, he is now only a – he's already been listed. Oh, he is listed. That's our player. But he's out on loan. Uh, we had an, we were trying to sell him, but we couldn't get anything near what we wanted. But he goes off to Yoop, and they're paying most of his wages. So he's gone. So quite a few moves. Jegu, Laval, Vogel, Olivier, Nateb, Banachek, all players that have had significant playing time for us. And, you know, that's a lot of business, uh, up to $23.5 now on the season. 
Coming in in January, we brought in from Sparta Sin Dornbosch on loan. He's a midfielder, attacking winger, nothing great. They wanted him to be a starter. We negotiated it down to be a squad player, more for depth. And with Vogel going out, uh, Vigneron going out, needed to bring somebody in. Uh, Jean DeVos from Anderlecht, 1.4 million. He is a right winger, but he can also play on the left wing. And he's pretty good. Probably the best crosser we've got. He can definitely be a playmaker for us. Huge pace. Came up in the Anderlecht system, and I think we got a steal on him. Paid 1.4, and as I said, he's already valued at 3.1, so we got a good deal on him. Uh, he's already played one match. Going to take him a little while to bet in, probably. Dick, uh, Dirk Van Beckel from Feyenoord for 2.2 million. He is a center back, six foot two Dutch, uh, four under 21 caps for the Netherlands, three and a half star potential. Just a really solid all around player. Good jumping reach, and I think he's going to be in the mix. I wasn't sure if we were going to lose Gerver or not. So there's some questions on that back line. So just kind of looking to nail somebody down that could be here for the next few years. And with all the moves that we made, the last recruiting meeting we had, they suggested that we needed an upgraded keeper. So I have gone out and signed 21-year-old Austrian international, six under 21 caps, uh, Kevin Kaiser, three-star current, four-star potential. And he's signed as a backup, but I believe he will be our new starting keeper. We just signed him. So um, I think we did some good business here. We made some money, kept the club viable, signed a couple of players. No, only one that's really going to be a huge impact, that right winger. And even there, we kind of lose one of our leading players. And then the goalkeeper. We'll have to see how that works out. So if we take a look at our starting 11 in this one, Kaiser is going to step into goal for Delcroix. Barisic on the left, Gerber and Kaisela continue to man the central mid, Okachi on the right, Grutunk and Dorenbosch now sliding into that central mid role, Resnick and Cervinka on the wings, very familiar, and Krinjic and Vicario up top. If we take a look at goals, uh, Krinjic is on 19, Vicario with that hat trick that we just saw is now up to 7, Resnick on five Kaisela and Gerber both on five as well so we are going to have a new squad number um likes number 13 so we'll give him number 13 gotta love a goalkeeper that's not superstitious right doesn't mind wearing the unlucky number favorites for a reason go out there so we will see the debut of our new keeper in this one Pretty close proximity of the last match with the uh, against Villem and this match. All right, here's Okachi. We're in the blue and white. There's Doran Bosch, our lone E from Sparta. Servinka. Oh, nice through ball into Krinjic. He bounces it off the post and then it goes in. I think the keeper knocked it in. Or. Yes, it was the keeper. The keeper dove for it off the rebound, and it bounced into the net. We'll take it. We will take it. Sometimes it's better to be lucky than good. <laughs> we will not look a gift horse in the mouth and a thousand other comedic puns here. All right, that went over. We'll take the goal kick. I wasn't sure if Kaiser got a hand on that or not. Let's encourage the entire team. Our, uh, what's the deal here? Isn't that complacent? That's a poor ball there. Good header out. Dorenbosch plays it up. 
Miss hits it. Cringet can't run onto that one. Little flick on header. Gerver tracks it. Trevinka. There's the through ball. Oh, I thought Bacario was going to step inside there and pounce on that. There's another one up to Krenjic. He's on this one. He has got to slot that one in. Cervenka with the assist. Number 20 on the season for Krenjic. In the rain. The deluge. And we are up 2-0. That was a very nice ball. All right. A throw in deep in their territory. Rutunk runs it down. Resnick runs over and picks it up. Not good. Slightly deflected. Little flick on header. Luckily, nobody was up there. Gerber. Oh, there's Chris Natumba, our former player. Oh, he liked those little flick on headers. He was good at that for us. And Cervenka. He makes a run, crashes into the six yard box. Looks like they had the save, a little deflection, and he just came crashing in. Look how far out he is here. Way out there. Kind of want to see here again. Yeah. Looks like Krenjic got it, got to the ball, but couldn't place it on. Cervenka just crashed into the box. 3-0, heading into halftime. Good control there by the back line. Up to Grutunk in the midfield. Oh, Krenjic into the box. Oh, and the keeper makes a big save. We get a corner out of that. This will probably be our last opportunity. Kaisela at the near post, but it's headed away. Oh, and a foul, but they aren't going to give that. 3 nothing at the intermission. Got to be happy with that. We're going to go outstretched arms, keep it going. All right, back into the second half. We do have a couple of guys tiring. I did go in also and change over the corner tactic over to the near post. I had noticed uh, this is a slight twist, on, a slight change from the... Uh, it's the same 4-2-4 four, four, four tactic that we've been playing, just a slight change on it. And uh, so, of course, the set piece uh, decisions don't adjust when you change over. So I, I forgot I had to go do that. This is the one I've been using with the run that we've been on. So everything's positive. All right, a couple of tired guys. We are into the 60th minute. Okachi is complacent and tired. If we pull him off, We've got uh, Marcella out there. Now Barisic, we could bring onto the other side and put Malmsteen in. Let's do that. Bring Malmsteen on for Okachi. Then we'll swap those two guys. And uh, Resnick is tired. Let's pull him off. Let's put Jean DeVos out there that's our new player so we can see him now he's already made his debut in the villa match but this will be your first time seeing him this is the guy we paid some big money for let's uh let's encourage the team again 81st minute barisic is really tired in fact i'm going to go ahead and call for a sub at the next break uh, Barisic will bring on Marcella. Now, Marcella is 19 years old. I don't think he's played for us yet. He's more of a center back, but he's got the ability to play out there. So I think he's going to be a debut. I don't remember playing him yet. Gerber with the big tackle, but then he's down for Osagi to make that run. And Kaiser gets beat. So no clean sheet on his debut. That was disappointing. 
Gerber, good play on the def defense, just one of those unlucky breaks. Nothing you can do about that. 2.31 to 0 0.70 on the XG. I think we dominated that game. Pretty good outing for everybody. And well done, guys. A good win. So let me know in the comments what you think about the new signings. Oh, also, just if you have if you're not following my other save, which is a journeyman save, we're currently with Lester. It's our third club. And um we just had so Gerber, our center back here at DeGraff Shop. He is our first, my first crossover player that I've signed to both clubs in the same save. Of course, he was with DeGroff Shop here when we started, and we just signed him from DeGroff Shop in the other league that I'm currently in. So that's interesting. He's very young, of course. So we will see how he develops from there. Kaiser makes his debut, gets the win. Resnick, we're looking at having to pay out $900,000. And Krenjic is on 20 goals for the season, but 19 league goals. And that'll give him a bonus of $26,000. And FC20 gets shut out by Ajax, ending their 13-game unbeaten run. I wanted to finish out the day here, take a look at the competition. So we are in 10th position, 33 points from 22 matches. We are now in positive territory from wins to losses. 10 wins, 3 draws, 9 losses. Really need to start drawing more and losing less if we're going to make a climb up this table. But we'd certainly like to get back into Euro Cup. We have a long way to go. Eight points separating us from FC20. And I don't know if we've got the talent to make that up this year. Let me know what you guys think of the transfers. Hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new. And don't forget daily football manager content Monday through Saturday here on the channel. Hit the notification bell so you stay up to date. Much appreciated you guys stopping by and sticking it out through the video. Thanks so much. We'll see you. Bye.